to my channel. My name is Reza and today I am going to be sharing with you how I do my spaghetti a la Reza style. Okay, so the ingredients that you need is pepper, cilantro, and garlic, and also some tomatoes put in. And the sauce that I like to use is a vodka sauce. It's really good. Any type of sauce that you can choose, but I like using this one. Black pepper, Parmesan cheese for the end, and any type of salt. I like using sea salt. And the most important ingredient is Spaghetti noodles and the meatballs right here. And of course, if you live in states that um, the groundwater is not good to drink from, I have cooking water. So let's, let's start making the spaghetti. And don't forget, for the kids, you need parental supervision for cooking and for the oven for the test. Texas toast. What I like to start first is with the water. I mean, goodness. Okay, the water, you just want to put enough that you think the spaghetti will go into. So you're gonna want to put it in at middle for the spaghetti. And of course, we need a little bit of sea salt. Just a little bit. Okay, that's enough. So then, let me take. So I got at the spaghetti and time to crack it. Be careful and aim toward the the la sartén. Sorry, I don't know it in English, but you might want to put a little bit more so you think it's... And of course, you need enough spaghetti for the whole entire family. Okay, that cracked quite nicely. Then you want to move the spaghettis around away from each other if that's possible. Um, so they don't stick together while they're boiling. And then my secret ingredient is adding a chicken cube. I know some of these go inside soups, but it's also good with spaghettis. So then now I'm going to turn on and preheat the oven at 350 degrees and put the Texas toast and let's wait that to get finished. So then, time for the meatballs. I like using avocado oil. It doesn't really matter whatever oil you want to use. So then, you pour a little bit of oil so it won't splash or sizzle all around you. After you put in the oil, we need to put in the garlic for now to let it sizzle in time for the meatballs. So then what you would do is move the garlic around. I like the smell of making spaghetti and, this, and the smell of cooking, it reminds me a lot of my dad. He likes to cook a lot. I love his roots. It's so delicious. Delicious! So after washing the meatballs, you'd want to put them in carefully. Don't splash them. You're going to get burned or hurt. You do. Let's put them one by one and let them create into ground beef. Let's check on... Let's check on the Texas toast and how they're doing. They're doing good. They look fluffy. Guys, look, we're 
we're already making some progress with the meatballs. And they're sizzling and sitting. It smells so good. <laughs> so then we're gonna take a short break and then later we're gonna show you um, the next step to the meatballs and to the spaghetti. So then I'm gonna put in some sea salt into the meatballs and some black pepper. Let me open this. Just a little. Whee. Okay. Time to move a little bit of the spaghetti. Listen to that ASMR. So then, once you pour all the spaghetti water into the sink, just leave a little bit so it can stay juicy and nice. My mom has to help me with pouring it out or else I'll burn myself. So once you're done with that, you would want to pour all the spaghetti in here. Ooh, not too much, nice. And put, it's time for the sauce. The sauce. Time to put in the sauce, all of the sauce. And then you take the sauce and pour it into the spaghetti. And then you would like to move it. It looks so good. Time to spin. Okay. So then, once you're done spinning the sauce and that it's stirring the sauce and pouring it in, you'd want to put in the pepper and the, well, not pepper, well, some, something like pepper, and put it in to the spaghetti and then time for the tomato to slide right in and then you're going to mix it again this is actually really fun so then once you're done with that you want to be careful with this pile of meatballs and just Put them in. Whee! Put it in. Uh, all of it. And be careful. So then now, once you put in the meatballs, you want to mix them. So then guys, you pour them into the plate and this is how it looks. Time for the Parmesan cheese. And the, the Parmesan cheese is optional. This is how I put it in. So then, let's open it and then put the cap back on. And then, put as much Parmesan as you would like. I got the garlic bread. You're supposed to turn off the oven. And with parental, be careful. Okay, guys. This this is the end of the video. And this is the final results on how they look. They're going to taste so delicious. And I hope you like, subscribe, and turn on those notification bells to be notified every single time I post a new video. Thank you for watching. Bye.